Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the Workers' Prayer. I am Bishop Gerald Tinkai from the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. I bless you as you are watching this program. Every morning we come here to talk to the nation. We want God to bless the nation of Kenya from north to south, from west to east. And you are included in this blessing. Whatever you've been going through uh, in your life, there is an end. Everything passes, Rafiq Yangu. Listen to this. That is not an, a, an end. That is not your destiny. It's just a phase. It's going to pass. What you need to understand is that God has a purpose for your life. A purpose is a, the original intent. What did God intend with your life when he created you in the first place? That is what he wants you to accomplish in this world or he wants to accomplish through you. How can you discover then what is God's purpose for your life? Only when you come to the presence of God. That's why we invite you to the Universal Church. Come and worship with us. God is going to reveal his plans to you. He's going to show to you what he wants to accomplish through you. Not only that, but he will also fit you in his plans for you to be able to glorify him with your life. Maybe you've been unemployed for a long time. You have no money to pay your debts, to take your children back to school, not even for the rent of your house. You are sick. You have no money to further your own studies. You need God's intervention. Watch these testimonies. Do not go away. I'll be right back. Workers' Prayer. My name is Lindy Weh. I came at the UCKG early 2009. My life was in a very bad state. The reason I came, it is because I was unemployed. So coming to the church was my only hope of finding a job. I came on Mondays for my financial life. I prayed for it, but nothing seemed to happen until last year I decided to participate in a, in a campaign of Israel. I participated in the campaign asking God to, to manifest His power in my life. As I sacrificed, I asked that I, I receive a job from Him. My situation was so bad because I had to depend on my family members. And you can imagine how hard it can be because my family, they don't come to church. I had to depend on them. When I needed something, I had to ask from my relatives. So it wasn't good until I decided to come to church and I asked God to reveal himself because it would never be easy that I am serving my God, but my life, it, it doesn't testify of, of his power in my life. I did receive a job. I think it was on June, July, 2013. I got a job in one of the greatest companies in the country, but I was on a contract. I persevered though until this year when the campaign of the Temple of Solomon was introduced, I asked God that I receive a permanent position, which God did reveal himself in my life. I got a permanent position where I'm working and my salary was increased. I, I received an increase of my salary. Today I am permanent where I'm working. I just want to thank God for what He has done in my life because He showed me that He never fails. If you put your trust in Him with a determination of mind, He will reveal Himself. In life, there are problems that hit you with a blow. Everything crumbles and the heartaches never seem to disappear. Everything keeps going wrong. You are in despair. What do you do when your hope isn't enough? When your single prayer seems to return unanswered and your persisting problem is still there. Partner with God and make a chain of prayer. A Chain of Prayer is the weekly series of uninterrupted prayer and action. 
To tackle the most stubborn problems, participate in a chain of prayer and turn things around once and for all. Don't give up. Make a chain of prayer. It works. Let's talk to God in prayer. I want to call upon the living God that he may change your life, that he may take away your suffering, your problems, because Rafiki Yangu, no matter how long you've been suffering, no matter how many times you've tried and failed, if you lift up your eyes to Jesus, he will pull you out of the pit. If you fall 100 times, Jesus will lift you up 101 times. Let's talk to him right now in prayer. Often we are faced with various kinds of problems in our lives and we lose the direction of how to overcome them. So why not pray and ask God's direction? Now prepare your glass of water because it is time for a moment of prayer. Let's talk with God. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that your anointing may touch these people who are joining us in this prayer. My Lord, remember what they are going through. Some of them are victims of witchcraft. Everything they do does not go right. Whatever they touch with their hands turns into a curse. Oh my God, I pray that you manifest your power. Bless this person, my God, who is crying out to you. We pray for our president. We pray for our deputy president. We pray, my Lord, for all the political parties. We pray for all the authorities of Kenya, all the inhabitants of this land, the housewives, the school children, the army men, the police, the doctors, the teachers, the engineers, everyone who's watching us at this moment. May they receive this blessing. Bless this glass of water, Lord. When they drink from it, let them receive life in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Drink now from your glass of water and be blessed in Jesus' name. Oh, how great it is to be in the presence of God. I invite you to join us 7 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock or 1 p.m. or 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. That is every weekday from Monday to Friday. Yet Sundays, our service is 10 o'clock in the morning. That's the main service. However, we have a 7 o'clock service, which is the first one. We also have the deliverance service, 1 p.m. If you're struggling with addictions, you're struggling with witchcraft or curses, Come and join us 1 p.m. every Sunday. May God bless you abundantly. In the name of Jesus, bye-bye. Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer.